Hey. hey. What are you guys up to? We're just chilling. Just hanging out, learning about yeah. plants. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll be able to ask a couple of questions. Absolutely. Do you want to come see the conifers? What got you interested in plant biology? Well, for me it was, you know, basically learning the first couple things you learn about in high school. Uh, photosynthesis and, you know, in the winter just looking outside at all these trees and stuff that can just survive. And I wanted to know how, how do plants, how come they're able to do all of these really cool things? How does that work? And then the more I learned about plants and how they are able to survive, uh, it, it just boggles my mind. And I, I love learning about them more and more, the more I learn about them. What is your favorite thing about plant biology and why? That's a tough question, but probably my favorite thing is it's all of these really cool biochemical pathways that we use. Um, we get a lot of our medicines from plants. And the chemicals that they're able to make to defend themselves against predators, uh, they can make their own acids, they, they can do all this stuff and I'm also in cellular biology so that's kind of a really cool uh, combination of my two degrees. So that's probably my favorite. How can you major in plant biology? Um, so majoring in plant bio is basically as simple as first wanting to major in plant bio and then simply submitting a change of program request to specialize in a plant bio. So you're still part of the biocide department, except you're now in a specialized program and then you essentially wait for it to uh, get approved. Is entry into plant biology competitive and are there any scholarships or awards? Okay, so it is, you're pretty much good to go to specialize to plant biology if you're above roughly like a 3.2. And then there are actually a lot of scholarships just for plant biology majors. There are several small ones that are a couple hundred bucks, um, but there is the big one called the Rurik Grant. So then that is $4,000. And then the top seven students, um, GPA wise in plant bio, get that every year. So that's for specialized plant bio majors. So, yeah, so you are in the plant bio program. And that happens every year. It's, um, you know, it's a great scholarship that's just for us. And then all of those scholarships, the program enrolls you in them yourself. You don't have to do anything. Are there many research opportunities in plant bio? There are a lot of research opportunities in plant bio. If anyone has ever been to the third floor of the BioSide building, a lot of the plant bio labs are up there. And honestly, I think I know more general BioSci kids um, in plant bio labs than plant bio majors. So it's lots of different stuff. There's everything from, you know, conservation and phylogeny to literal, you know, biochemistry, um, you know, genetic engineering, um, you know, metabolic engineering. It's really a lot of, a lot of cool stuff and unique stuff happens in plant bio labs. Where else can the knowledge of plant bio take me? Where can um, Right now, there are aspects of genetic engineering, there's agriculture, food security, there's uh, the medical field. Uh, you could finish with a bachelor's in plant science and you can go on med school. Uh, pot is become legal in Canada, so there's a whole new field that's opened up that is all about plant biology and medications. Um, it's, it's really as limited as I just want to make it, you know, you can do three months, you can do all kinds of stuff. Um, it's, there's tons of, of things. That is a really good question because here we're kind of lucky living in Alberta. We are in Canada, um, here in Alberta, like the center of agriculture and energy science in this country. There's so many different things you can do for plants. The agricultural industry here um, is insane. Uh, everyone needs um, all the big biotech companies in agriculture. They need uh, geneticists, they need, you know, genetic engineers. Um, a lot of that, you know, is plant related. That involves microtechnique with bacteria as well, but that's a huge thing. You can go into consulting companies. A lot of times oil companies, when they need to drill in a particular area, before they can do that, they have to send a report to the government. That's basically a survey of all the biodiversity there, and that's where plant-based uh, plant like consulting companies come in. They make a shwack of money, basically just telling the oil companies what's there, um, and then they work hand in hand there. Another kind of emerging field, if anyone's familiar with Dr. Mench's research, is he does phytoremediation, so that's using plants to basically, to, in simple terms, clean the environment uh, and does that in tailings ponds. So there's a lot of applications to plant bio. Do you think plants are underrepresented in the media? Absolutely. And not just in media, in the science community itself. Some of the things I learned about plants is absolutely mind-boggling fascinating. And as for, you know, mate, like, popular culture media, I'm sure everybody 
it's familiar with GMOs and all the controversy about that. I'm actually doing a project through the Ideas Fund um, because I feel like the media represents GMOs only in a negative light. And I think that that's skewed, and I think that the problem is a lot of people don't understand enough about basic genetics and plant biology to really understand GM tech and to really make an educated decision. So my project is about trying to get to the bottom of, of why people are so upset and try to educate people about plants, about how plant biology works. So I think that there needs to be a more open discussion on both sides of the argument uh, to really make effective decisions. If there is one thing you could tell U of C students about plant bio, what would it be? Definitely check it out. I always hear, oh, plant biology must be so boring, but that can't be further from me. The plants are fascinating, and if you're interested in cell biology or just general biology, there's definitely more than meets the eye with plants. And there's scholarships, career, and research opportunities, so I would encourage people to, you know, Look past the seemingly boring nature of plants because there is an amazing world. And I would say I would I would agree with Janine. I'd say that don't let like if, if you're if you're like a victim of you know the Alberta curriculum's Bio 20 and you've been introduced to plants in an awful way because in high school it really isn't taught properly. Um, don't let that stop you from going into plant bio because it's a very unique major and it's very interdisciplinary. You don't just sit around learning about seeds and stems all day. It's you learn about complex physics and things like energy transfer and biochemistry and some of the most complicated biochemical pathways on the planet happen in plants. And it's it's very um, it's a composite major. You learn about a lot of different things that come together. And plants are surprisingly they are very complex and they're very unique things. A lot of the research happening right now is very unique. You can do weird and different things with plants in a way that you know animal based or bacterial bacterial research doesn't really do uh, we have once again everything from like making rubber out of lettuce um, to things like you know genetic engineering crops to have you know better yield and you know feed our population all right thank you guys so much for your time thank you, thank you.